What's up, TikTok? This is part two of the mini series I'm calling Sin and Salvation. Takeaway number one, all believers, all people have willfully sinned because it's in our human nature that we wrestle with. But Jesus, he was punished for our sins so that we wouldn't have to be. But the crazy thing is, at the end of the day, people still refuse to accept him and therefore refuse to accept salvation. It's not God's desire for anyone to go to hell. Hell was not created for us. But if people go to hell, it's because they chose hell and they chose hell by rejecting the son of God. We don't get into heaven because we don't sin or because we're good people. By nature, we're not. So if you've accepted truly and genuinely Jesus into your heart because you actually want a relationship with him and you are actively pursuing him, then your salvation is secure. However, sanctification, the process of becoming more like him is a process. That's a whole nother video. Takeaway number two. When we have accepted Jesus to be our savior and we are pursuing a relationship with him, he completely wipes all of our sins away. As far as the east is from the west, all the sins that we have done, they're gone. He forgets them. He chooses not to remember them. And even all the sins that you will continue to commit, like you're clean you're redeemed like when jesus sees you at the end of the day he sees or when yeah when god sees you at the end of the day he sees his son jesus he doesn't see the mess that we are first john 1 9 says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness and hit you with the last point point number three the best way to stop sinning is to stop trying to stop sinning now, don't take this wrong way. Don't justify your sin or anything like that. That's not what we're doing. But if we're so hyper focused on like, I can't do this, I shouldn't do this, like it's just gonna you're 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 gonna struggle with continuing to fall into whatever sin you're struggling with and then fall into shame and that your shame's gonna like make you not want to go back to God and then you're gonna have to like re repent again and start the whole cycle over. Like his grace is enough for you. And if you just run to him and not focus on all the stuff you're not doing right, then that's a lot more effective. And I'm speaking from experience. Like in my own life, if I just focus on pursuing him and I stop trying to just stop messing up. And like usually if I just pursue him, it goes better because he gives me and he will give you the strength you need to do what honors and pleases him.